In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use GitHub Gist to save and share snippets of code or other information. This powerful tool can help you streamline your projects and collaborate with others more efficiently. Whether you're new to coding or an experienced developer, understanding how to utilize GitHub Gist can significantly enhance your workflow. So let's dive right in. First things first, head over to GitHub's main page. GitHub is a hub for developers offering a vast array of tools for software development and Gist is one of its most useful features for sharing code snippets. Once you're on the GitHub website, you'll need to sign in to access the Gist feature. Click on the sign in button located typically at the top right corner of the page. If you don't have a GitHub account yet, don't worry. Creating one is straightforward and free. Just follow the prompts to sign up before proceeding. After clicking on sign in, you'll be asked to enter your GitHub username or the email address associated with your account. Fill in the necessary information to proceed to the next step. Next, input your password in the provided field. Make sure you've entered it correctly to avoid any login issues. With your credentials filled in, click on the sign in button to access your GitHub dashboard. This is where all your repositories and activities on GitHub are displayed. It serves as your command center for navigating through GitHub's features. Once you're signed into your dashboard, you're ready to create a new gist. Look for the option to create a new gist. This might be located in a drop down menu or directly accessible from your dashboard, depending on GitHub's current interface layout. Clicking on new gist will take you to a blank page where you can start crafting your code snippet. Here's where the fun begins. At the top, there's a field to enter a description or name for your gist. This helps you and others understand at a glance what your code snippet is about. Now it's time to get into the details of your gist. In the large text area below the description field, enter your code or whatever information you wish to share. You can format this area to your liking, making it as clean and readable as possible. It's also a good spot to add comments within your code to guide those who may be viewing or using it. Finally, once you're satisfied with the information and code you've entered, you have a couple of options. For the purposes of this guide, we'll focus on creating a secret gist. This means it won't appear in public search results, but can still be shared directly with others using the link. Look for the button labeled Create Secret Gist and click on it. Voila, you've just created a gist that you can share with your team, friends, or keep for your reference. Remember, the beauty of GitHub Gist lies not just in its simplicity for sharing code snippets, but also in its ability to foster collaboration and learning among the coding community. Experiment with this tool, explore gists made by others, and see how you can integrate this resource into your development process. Thank you for joining me in learning about GitHub Gist today. Whether you're documenting code solutions, sharing snippets, or looking for inspiration from the vast GitHub community, Gist is a powerful companion in your coding journey. Happy coding, and until next time.